below. Um, for those out there that are that have subscribed or watching um, this YouTube channel, and uh, welcome to the Gospel Homestead. And um, this saw that's in this case, you're probably wondering what is in it. And this is a steel case. And if you are acquainted with older steel saws, you may can recognize this is an old steel case. <clears throat> I bought this saw off an old man. And um, he bought it brand new. I'm thinking somewhere in the set, late 70s to early 80s. <clears throat> Excuse me. And he has used it, but not have used it. And as you can see, I seen it sitting. It's, du you know, the case is dusty. Um, not the saw, though. Um, when I seen it, I seen the case, and I asked the man, I said, what do you want for the saw? I said, in other words, is there, it's out of steel. Yeah, it's a steel. <clears throat> and he really didn't want to sell it. But I kept inquiring, kept inquiring, made him an offer, and then he told me what he would take. And I bought it, and I'm really highly satisfied with the condition of this saw. This is a steel O32AV. It's in pristine condition for being, you know, a late 70s to early 80s chainsaw. Does not have chain break. Um, <clears throat> but let me pull this saw out. It is heavy. It is heavy. <clears throat> 22 inch bar. I believe it's a Duramatic. Um, but it is in really good condition. Really good condition. Usually, where it says steel, them gets dented and scratched. Um, and usually all this paint is already, would be gone at the bottom. And here's the bottom. Usually they're all skin up on the bottom. <clears throat> it does have rubber bushings for vibration. On and off switch, choke. And uh, there's your spark plug. But this saw is in excellent condition. Um, I couldn't pass it up for the price. Um, it's, it was hard to beat. <clears throat> It does not run well right now. I assume where it's been sitting for probably a long time. Um, it probably needs a good tune-up, probably a new plug. Corporator probably needs clean, um, little things like that. But it still had the stickers on the side, and they was not wore off. I thought that was pretty cool. Two lock nuts. Spike. Not for sure if it will run right now good i'm pretty sure it will start but as far as running i'm not for sure if it'll um, run real good right now but i can try to start it to at least uh let you hear what it sounds like it is loud it is not a quiet song by any means But, um, I do like collecting old steel chainsaws. Um, they are getting harder to find um, year by year. Um, a lot of old steel chainsaws, they're either wore out or in really rough condition. I had an old 41 farm boss that I just recently had sold and uh, to a younger gentleman. <clears throat> and um, he... 
really like the saw. Um, I told him, I said, it does not run real good. But, um, and it was in fairly decent shape for being as old as it was. It was around the same age as this one. Uh, but when I showed him this saw, he could not hardly believe the condition of this one. I mean, it is an absolutely excellent condition. <clears throat> I do want to tune it up. Um, not for sure if I will. Um, because I, it's possible I might sell it between now and then. Um, usually I post saws on Craigslist that I have for sale. Um, this one is for sale on Craigslist. And um, it would be under the Lexington, Kentucky. Um, you'd have to put in steel chainsaws. Um, but this is a really nice chainsaw. If somebody wanted a chainsaw that like <clears throat> to do a good tune up on it would make a really good one don't really want to sell it but possibly probably would but um just thought i'd do a small review on it don't have no really no wood to cut or anything right here um at the time being um but these seem to be a good saw the o32 um but like i said this one has a little problem with like hesitation so I'm assuming it probably needs a new fuel line, possibly something like that. Uh, I don't think it's nothing major. Uh, but I do highly recommend steel chainsaws. And um, anything else I may can show you, let me think. Uh, okay, it does use mixed fuel. Put it in here, and down here is your oil for your chain. Always, always use steel chain oil. Do not use anything else. I have tried. Uh, with one of my saws, the 441, and um, learned my lesson from using cheap bar oil. But um, I recommend the HP Ultra um, the, um, that you run through them. And then I, for the oil, I recommend the high performance in the big gray jug for um, your bar. It's thick and it really does wonderful um, of keeping the bar from wearing out so quick. All right, thank you all for watching the Gospel Homestead. God bless.